This week's walk down exercise builds on the pivot cadence exercise we did in week five. This was where we interrupted our walk down at any point to convert our chord into a pivot chord, resolving to a new one or a new tonic. This walk down exercise is similar but more complex. After interrupting your walk down, instead of just converting to a pivot chord, which resolves to a new one, you will start one of the five modulation chord progressions on that chord. These five modulation chord progressions are notated in the modulation guide PDF and the sheet music PDF for the examples in this video are also available to you. You'll find both in the lesson guide folder for week six. Here are the five modulation chord progressions. Each one will start at a different point in the walk down. The first two modulate up a half step, the second two up a whole step, and the last one up a minor third. You can apply any of the five modulation chord progressions on any of the seven walk down steps, which are E, D sharp, C sharp, B, A, G sharp, and F sharp. So 35 possible combinations. Our first example is the first method of modulating up a half step. So we start our walk down, we stop, interrupt on the A chord, and modulate up to B flat. Begin the modulation. F7 is your new dominant, resolving to B flat. Our second example is the second method of modulating up a half step. We begin our walk down in E at the C sharp chord. We're going to begin our modulation and we are going to resolve up a half step from there, which lands on D. Begin your modulation on C sharp. A7 is your dominant, which resolves to D. The third example is modulating up a whole step. This is the first method. So we begin our walk down. At the B chord, we begin our modulation chord progression, and it takes us up a whole step to resolve on C sharp as the new tonic. Begin your modulation. G sharp is your dominant, resolving to C sharp. In the fourth example, we're modulating up a whole step. This is our second method. So G flat is our conversion chord, at which point we're gonna modulate up a whole step and resolve on the new tonic of A flat. Begin your modulation sequence. E flat seven. Is your new one or D sharp resolve to A flat or G sharp. Our fifth and final example has us modulating up a minor third, so from the key of D flat to E. We interrupt at A flat, at which point we begin our modulation sequence to resolve to the key of E. to your new dominant, which will be B7, and it leads you to E. So this last example is interesting because we began in the key of E and we actually ended up in the key of E, but we did go through our modulation sequence. Just so happens that starting on that A flat just leads you back to E because A flat is the dominant of the D flat, which leads you to E. I could have begun this on any other of the scale steps, which would resolve to a different key.